Hey guys, Jordan and stuff, and uh, welcome to the ASUS P5NB2SLI motherboard. This is a very, very awesome motherboard. It has SLI, two PCI Express X1 slots, and three PCI slots, totaling in seven, like you would expect. Um, it is stock at 775, supports up to like Pentium D840 or something like that. It doesn't support the 900 series of PD, but I oh will. It has an SLI. <laughs> it, as far as I could tell, it supports almost all models of Celeron and D and P4. So, yeah, but we're going to be ordering in a Pentium D830 for this rig. And, um, specifically. This one. It's your Pentium D830 dual core 3.0 GHz to make H 800 MHz FSB. So I've got 775. It pulls up to 8 GB of DDR2 RAM. And, um, yeah. We are going to be SLIing two GeForce 8800 GTs. Um, on this rig, uh, me and Liam's 800 to be more precise, which will totally in one gig of VRAM and pretty good performance. We have to play Crisis, maybe Crisis 2 on this rig too, which would be nice. It has four original starter ports, game controller, uh, I think that's a serial port, USB, 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 headers for a USB, I believe. Yeah, we have so many dead motherboards. We can solder a new one on. Uh, LED light, um, audio, more audio, I think. Uh, CD, and then Molex, which is nice. Um, 24 pin. The 4 pin is up. Well, actually, it's an 8 pin, so we can uh, pop that off. That'd be nice. Uh, CMOF battery, IDE, I believe these are two floppy drive bays here. No, uh, we would never use them, but, well, here, this isn't quite a BIOS card, it's more of a connection card. Because if I take it out here, you'll see that it has no chips on it. It's pretty much connecting up the chips that are already on the board. But, you know, at the moment we're running in single video card mode, because we won't have two video cards to run it in for a while. Um, so yeah, uh, we got this with a Umbrella's case and a 7600GS, which is pretty average, fairly average, not too bad, not too good. Um, so yeah, we're gonna, probably going to run this with 4GB of the uh, 2533MHz RAM, specifically this one maybe, um, from Hong Kong. <laughs> um... The only problem with it is that it's got two dead caps because it was running really badly and it had a ton of nicotine smoking stuff. This is a 1000 microfarad cap and this is like 6.3 volts they both are. This is an 820 microfarad capacitor. So, um, yeah. Anything else to go over? Nice big thing. Uh, MOSFET, heat sink. Uh, I'll just go over the IO in a sec. Um, oh. oh yeah, we're going to be running this with three power supplies. And probably overclocking the PD and getting some really good cooling for it. To be nice. Um, this is the back IO. Let's turn you around there. We have PS2. Um... Two of them, you know. That is digital audio, whatever it's called. Uh, then standard audio, parallel, four USB ports, and Ethernet. So, too bad, oh, not too good, but you know, you gotta make some sacrifices. And whoa, I'm still upside down. And uh, our sacrifice in this case was the fact that we can only take PDs, but if we can run two really good cards in SLA. So, uh, yeah, over here I have, 
um, RS technology, whatever it's called. Uh, it's like thirteen dollars twenty, including GST, to um, to order the capacitors. But they're in packs of five, which is a bit of a trouble. I can't actually order in packs of one or anything, which kind of sucks. But it does mean we have some spare cats for future projects. Uh, it'd be great. Here I've got up the um, video card section of my local computer store. I'm going to see if I can find a nice cheap card that me and Liam can get to <laughs> off. Really low card would do. Like this. I don't know, can you SI these? I don't think so. Oh, but I know you from the fact that you can crossfire these. Oh, this one doesn't have crossfire, and this is an SI board, so it can't run an AMP card. Anyways, guys, I uh, hope you have all enjoyed, and I hope to see you all later. Goodbye, guys. Thank you.